Hey, Exploration Nation. I'm at an old house right by the highway, and it's also right by some abandoned railroad tracks. And it's close enough to the tracks where it kind of leads me to believe that this was an old railroad boarding house at one time. It may have been just a regular house, but I can't imagine somebody building a house this close to the tracks. I mean, right beside it. I'll show you in a little bit. And some of the dates on some of the rail joints coming down here were dated 1920. So the house had to have been built by the tracks on purpose, leading me to believe it's a railroad boarding house. So let's take a look, and if I can find out any information about it, I will put it in the description below. And because of the traffic noise, I came in from the side, and also the front porch didn't look too promising. Get a little more light on that, I don't know. That may be too much. Because I want you to see the lath walls here. I believe that's what they're called. Doesn't quite look like tongue and groove, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up again. I can never remember that. I don't run into this very often. Turn that light down some because it looks like the light was washing it out where you couldn't see it. Of course, up here in the ceiling, same thing. They don't make things like that anymore. And before we head to the back, here is one of the front rooms, and as you can see, the old fireplace made out of stone. Now, the blocks made that made the chimney on the outside are very large, much larger than bricks, and they're red, so I don't know what the name of that is. I'll have to see if I can get information on that as well. But this is a very old house. As you can see, that fireplace is made out of stone. And let's go back this way. see the wall construction there. Now there's an old rusty paint bucket in the middle of the floor here. Looks like somebody had ideas about restoring this place at one time. Those walls look like they've been sanded down. No paint on them. As you can see here, these walls have old paint on them. Turn down the intensity so you can see where it's peeling. Right there. And then you can see this right here. If I can get a focus on the deal. There we go. And you can see it right there. Looks like somebody had sanded this down and had the idea of restoring it, but I think they got into more than they bargained for here. I'm not going to go that way because that's anything but promising and even though it doesn't go very far still twist an ankle right there so there's another way to get there. Now here it almost looks like the house is made this way. The perspective doesn't show up well on camera but starting just to the right of that door frame it drops slopes down to it's about two feet down but as you can see the whole house did that so the whole house has settled down so it was not made that way for sure here is another fireplace and the floor here feels more or less more or less <laughs> okay and you can get a closer look there of the fireplace on the other end of the house. 
made out of flat stones. Maybe that'll give you a better view inside it. And somebody had put in false ceiling here. And this looks like, uh, I'm not sure what this is, maybe a makeshift closet. I can't imagine that being a bed up there, bunk bed or otherwise. Although the slats across it would kind of lend themselves to that, but I don't think so. That's kind of up there. And I don't see anything anywhere else that shows anything else there, so I think it was just maybe a makeshift closet. Alright, another view of the room here. Now there is an upstairs here. And so I'm going to uh, start up here. Another one of my stellar ideas. Let's see. So far so good. You have a floor up here, not so much. That goes out through there. I'm not going to risk it. And a set of chest of drawers right there. And the perspective doesn't show, but that's angled right there. You might be able to see it there. I made it back down. The stairs are solid, but that floor up there didn't look all that great. All right, back this way. Set of cabinets. Another collapsed floor. And right there is the chimney for a wood burning stove or a pot belly stove. If this house is as old as the railroad tracks are, it's probably a pot belly stove. But don't know because the imprint is long since gone. And there's a electrical box over there. Not going to chance that. Again, like I say, it wouldn't go far if it went through, but it's still enough to twist an ankle though. Okay, be careful right here. Look at this door frame with pegs in it. Hmm. And the lock. Now these blocks here that actually looking at it closer looks newer than the house those look like cinder blocks to me and the way it's mortared in looks more recent so I don't know how recent there's some graffiti in here from 2002 so when I say recent 
don't mean in the past five years or in the past. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, there are survey markers all throughout here. So that probably means that we're going to be saying goodbye to this old place sometime in the near future. Those markers are pretty recent. And when I say recent this time, I mean like really recent. Uh, so I think it's going to be gone here soon. Get off here. And you can see the front of the house and you can see the railroad tracks right there. So that's what makes me think that this is an old railroad boarding house. And railroad boarding houses for, for the train crews to overnight until I guess the next train came through when they needed to uh, swap crews out. And if this house is as old as I think it is, there was nothing out here at the time it was built. So crew quarters would have been a good welcome site, I'm sure, because there were no other options or very few options. Some of these towns up here were established in the 1800s. And another look at the chimney. When I first saw it, I thought that was some kind of uh, old style brick, maybe locally fired or something like that because of how big they were, but coming up here you can see that it's been painted that color, so I'm pretty sure that that's going to be uh, cinder block, that's what it looks like. Now, for those of you that have been following me for any length of time, when I go out and check a place out, you know what invariably happens. I find stuff in the weirdest places. So here, in keeping with the Exploration Nation tradition, some of you guessed it, a commode. Yes, sir. Got a house out here. <laughs> and there is a random commode just laying around out in the yard. That's the way it goes. I couldn't believe it when I saw it, but again, I'm not surprised. Some Urbexers find Christmas ornaments everywhere they go. I find commodes. something interesting in the back here didn't come out this way out the back door because of the condition of the porch right there to either side it probably been okay but I didn't want to chance it this little structure here built back into the bank one of two things it's an old well house or it could have been a place to store things that need to be refrigerated like an old spring house and an old spring house had literally a spring running through it and 
you'd be amazed how well those work. But I wanted to take a look at this. And it doesn't look like there's anything left in it. Let's get a flashlight on that. And take a look. It's caved in. Goes back there a long way, it looks like. And I don't really want to step on that because the ground may be weak right there. Might not be a good idea. I figure somebody's got this cordoned off for a reason. But as you can see, it goes back a long way back in that bank. And if those markers up there are any indication up there by that tree, that's a pretty good sized little uh, room right there. So I'm thinking it's more along the lines of a spring house in order to keep refrigerated goods in. Sit, side step over here to see if I can get a better look for you. And of course by now the spring is long since dried up. That's what usually happens. And you can see a little bit of daylight from where it's caved in from the ground above up there. All right, now to get back out of here. Well, that's it for the old house by the railroad tracks. I really do appreciate you coming along with me on this little adventure. Thank you so much for your support, and I will see you in the next video.